Mark, congratulations on the Silver Circle Award. Thank you. You know, that's something that might have gone overlooked, but I'm glad it wasn't. Me too. I was really fortunate, and when I heard I was being inducted, it was very exciting for me because it's an acknowledgement of, like, your body of work, your lifetime of work, right. not just that special year. And as you know, you've known me for years. I love what I do. And even after 34 years on the show, I still enjoy it. But to get that kind of a shout out and, and respect from your peers, there's nothing better. You know, there's nothing like uh, the loyal audience of a soap opera that loves characters, even if they've been gone for a long time. Yes. What's it like when you see not someone like, because she's so unique, as is everyone, but when you see Rena Sofer come back, and I think you uh, discovered on Loving? I did. And when you see her as Lois and have all that success, and then gone for a while, and then come back and walk right back into it. What's that like? I knew you were going to mention Rena when you started, because that's a very great example of... I found her when she was 18, her first job, and then watching her career. When General Hospital, the role came up, I knew she was perfect. She wasn't sure she wanted to do another soap. I took her to dinner and talked her into testing for the role. And the rest is history. She created one of the most indelible characters ever in daytime. When she came back, she stepped right in. And she's one of those actresses that makes everybody that she is in a scene with better. I just love her. And a more recent discovery, uh, Giovanni? Yeah, Mazza. Gio. Matza. Matza. How, um, <laughs> what a coincidence. You found someone to play the violin. No. Uh, yeah, Tell exactly. me about something like that. When they say that they play the violin, do the writers then write that in? That was just a fluke because he played the violin. It, normally, they don't take that into consideration. I found this kid. I was looking for a 15-year-old. I knew he was too old. But I sent his audition to my executive producer, Frank Valentin. I said, Frank, he's too old, but just take a look at this kid. Frank immediately was like, get him in. He came in to read, all the producers were in, and they were just, we love this guy. And I brought up the violin, and we created a contract role for him. We created a role for him, which we don't really do a lot, and he just happened to play violin, so we tailored that first part to him. Awesome. And tell me, who's on your reel? Uh, oh, boy. Show? Charles Majeure, um, Kate Manzi, Kristen Vaganos, uh, a lot of fun people, both veterans and new faces. So I, find, I always try to find a balance on that reel to showcase the range of it. Absolutely. And I knew you were here last night. What did you think of the show, sweeping show, directing, and writing? It was very gratifying. You know, you go in just to have a good time, but when they said General Hospital, I couldn't wait to jump on that stage just to celebrate the hard work that goes into it. It was a great night for the show. And what advice would you give to aspiring actors out there who are trying to enter the world of acting at a time where it's both lots of opportunities and also very material at the same time. Well said. It's never been a more challenging time to enter show business in general because of the nature of the business. Being an actor is about the most challenging thing you can do. So you have to do it because you love it and it, you bleed it. You can't do it because you want to make it or you want to be a star. The reason to become an actor is because acting is in your soul and blood. That's the only reason, and that's what's going to get you through the tough times, your love of the craft. Awesome. Well put. Congratulations. Thank you, my friend. So great to see you.